Hi everyone, this is something I've spoken about in the past, but I'd like to do a little video and talk about flexing. So there's gonna be three things here. First of all, there's gonna be testing and the correct way, or in my opinion, the correct way to test how much flex your slider system has. Then the second thing is whether that's normal, you know, whether you actually need to do anything or whether that small amount of flex you have is just gonna be fine for, you know, for most users. And the third thing is gonna be, if you do have an issue with flexing, figuring out what the problem is and fixing it. So there's gonna be several ways of testing it. I'm gonna show an example here with an 80 centimeter slider. So I'm gonna be 40 centimeters-ish from the center. And so if your slider is longer, just place the weight at that point and test it if you wanna compare it to the same as what I'm comparing here. And this is not the strongest setup that you can get. This is one of the strongest without adding additional things connected to here. So you can get arms that connect from there to there or from, you know, th there's various ways you can improve this or, you know, even just putting two tripods there. But this is a very solid system that works really well and doesn't cause any problems, but still not the most, because we still want to show a little bit of flex in this video so you can compare it to something. And this is something that I actually like working with. I'd prefer to have a system that just has one tripod in the center and and that's it. So without any additional things to connect, without an arm that goes from there to there, without a monopod or something between this and the ground, etc. So, uh, okay, first of all, the way that we can test it is take a bag that has some water in it, or of course you can just weigh your camera and put it on there and you know move that to the correct position. But I'm gonna be testing this with bottles of water since that's very easy to replicate. So I've got two liter bottles here and uh, obviously either use two liter bottles or two kilogram weights or whatever. You can look at this, just, you know, just stand there and look and see whether it's flexing or you can set up a camera and actually press record and film it and then look at the footage on a big screen to see e even the smaller differences. So uh, plastic bag and so start off with one. So essentially, with, with the weight of the average camera plus fluid head, like a mirrorless camera plus a fluid head, um, you ideally, if you have a very good system, you'll have, I don't know, maybe a millimeter of flexing. So here I'm just looking and I'm seeing that, I mean, there's essentially no flexing. So let's add more weight. So now there's one more, so that's two bottles, about four, about four kilograms. And once again, with a good system, you might, you know, with four kilograms, quite a lot of weight, you might have a little bit of flex. And what you'll see me do in my videos is you'll see me hold it from, uh, from both sides, like that and that, and I'm pressing like that. I'm really putting pressure on it. So when I'm doing testing, I'm putting more than four kilograms weight on it. I'm really pushing it. But um, you should see a very small amount of flex. That's normal. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a slider flex. Most of the time, the slider itself holds really well, and the flex is either coming from the connection between the tripod and the slider, or from the tripod legs themselves. There's rarely any flex coming from the slider itself. So here, as another test, uh, three, Bottles of water. So about six kilograms, so quite a big camera. And once again, almost no flex. But with this amount of weight, with a lot of uh, tripod systems, I'd expect to see a little bit of flex. Now, if you're seeing a tiny bit of flex, in my opinion, it's not gonna show up in your footage. If you're seeing like a centimeter flex, that's definitely too much. And then I'd definitely be looking to improve it. So if you are seeing flex, the easiest super cheap solution is to get a stick and connect the stick from there to there or from there to the ground. So either a monopod with a clamp or something like that, you know, just sort of a DIY solution. And the more expensive option is to get the Canova arm and that you know, comes with a clip and it connects between there and there. Very nice and easy to work with. And uh, so, so that's a pretty good thing, but it costs money. And then the next step up, if you're using really heavy cameras, is to have additional tripods. So you'd have one there and one there instead of one in the center, or I've never seen this done, but potentially even 
one in the center and one on each side if that's really needed. If you have flex in the middle of your uh, slider or if you're using a really big track, potentially even you know three tripods. Now, if you're seeing flex in between the items that are connected to each other, a lot of the time that's because you have a rubber sort of um, on, on the top of a tripod or something like that. There's a rubber piece to help it grip where it's connected. So a lot of the time that rubber can create a little bit of flex. And if you have multiple pieces stacked on top of each other, whether it's things that raise it up or various heads to allow it to tilt, things like that, each one of those is gonna be different. So the solution is gonna to be to find the problem and then look at that problem specifically and see how you can fix that. Once again, the easiest thing is to go from there to there or from there to the ground and that gives you a nice extra bit of support. Ideally, from there to there because from there to the ground doesn't give you any support over here. And from there to there, does give you support over here because it prevents this from stretching. It prevents these two from moving apart from each other. So you only really need one stick from there to there to prevent that flex. And if you have it in the correct angle, then it's also gonna prevent flexing this way. So if this stick is not in line with that, so if this stick is over here, so that's actually further away from that, that's also going to prevent this from spinning at least as much as possible. Now, of course, if you're working with really low quality legs, then going from there to there isn't gonna help much, in which case you're gonna probably wanna go with multiple tripods. If you want advice about your specific setup and where I think that can be improved, then send me a photo or a video. So photo on Facebook or send me a link to a YouTube video so that I can actually look at it and let you know because I can sort of help by just writing comments back and forth, but not that much. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Visit my channel for lots more awesome filmmaking and photography videos like lighting techniques, DIY projects, behind the scenes tutorials, cameras, lenses, adapters, shoulder rigs, stabilizers, flashes, LEDs, microphones, bags, straps, studio backgrounds, tripods, float heads, sliders, multi-tools, and lots more cool stuff.